Hey, what's up? My name is Taylor. I play drums and I play acoustic fairly often. And I know the first thing that you thought when you heard that was drums and acoustic. You're probably like playing on a cajon, a box drum, or like with brushes, or you're not even playing at all. How are you playing acoustic? Well, for the first year or so, I was playing on the cajon. I really liked it. I liked the application. I liked the textures I could get out of the drum. Pearl makes a good selection of cajons. I recommend you go check one out. Uh, but once you, once you play them for extended periods of time, multiple times a week, it really takes a toll on your hands and your butt. So I started immediately thinking of, you know, just other solutions for the context. And I knew Pearl made this contraption to remove the mount because it's not part of it. Get that off there. It's called the Pearl Jungle Kit Converter. It comes with legs and this little shoe mount bracket thing. Basically what you do is this goes into a Pearl Opti mount or I found a Pearl ISS mount works just fine for this application. Basically you put this on here like so. You attach this to the rim of the drum and you can attach your pedal to this little piece here. Um, and like I said, these legs fit into the four tom uh, leg brackets, kick drum springs. I will be converting the beautiful Pearl Session Studio Select 16 inch four tom from a four tom into a bass drum. In a nutshell, that's the components you need. For me, what I found works the best by this Evans EMAD four tom head. You throw it on there, it sounds just like a kick drum immediately. This, it just, it sounds so good right out of the box. It sounds like a baby bass drum. As I call it, I was a little bit extra and I had a buddy of mine find this 16 inch pearl bass drum head. It's a resident side head, came off of like a, a marching drum or something, I'm not sure. But for the brand, you gotta love it. I love pearl drums. I love representing them as much as I can. So I have that. Not needed, neither is the EMAT, but they definitely fit the appeal, they fit the application, you're turning a floor tom into a bass drum, it really works. One note about this particular pearl head, it is a bass drum head, so I'm not able to use regular floor tom hoops for this. So I did have to buy a 16 inch bass drum hoop just to fit that on there, and because of that, I did, they're in here, but I had to buy longer tension rods and bass drum claws to fit this. You could do it relatively cheaply. You could find a four tom for 50 bucks on Craigslist, 50 bucks for the jungle kit converter, and 50 bucks for an ISS mount. You're in it $150. You don't need the heads. The heads help it sound more fitting. Not needed though. So, hopefully you enjoy this quick explanation on how to convert a 16 inch four tom almost any size four tom, but in this particular situation, a 16 inch four tom into a bass drum. So this is my acoustic gig rig. I've talked a, a, quite a lot about it, actually. I do have a couple mics run, um, kind of a complicated setup. Going into my mixer, going into my interface, going out to my phone. I have a full video of this on my Instagram if you'd like to follow me and check that out. It's at play underscore underscore drums. Again, that is two underscores. I guess one was already taken, so I had to choose two. It's comprised of the 10-inch Peisty PST Swiss hats. I really like these hi-hats in this application. I am a Zildjian guy fairly through and through. There is one Sabian behind me, but for this application, they work very well. As for a snare drum, I have the 10 by 4 Pearl M80 snare drum. It's a great side snare. It's currently sold as the Short Fuse. This is just an older model. It's the same drum. It's a 10 inch shell. It's Poplar, I believe, but it does the job. And then what we're all here for is the 16 by 16 Pearl Session Studio Select Floor Tom Turn Bass Drum. And again, if you're not paying attention earlier, <laughs> It is done with the Pearl Jungle Kit Converter, and um, for an extra added little bit, um, I'm using an Evans UV EMAD 4 tom head to give it more of a bass drum sound, and it, it really does achieve that, I think. The front head is purely for me because I'm extra and I love Pearl drums, 
it serves no real purpose. It's fairly muffled, and a lot of the tone and body is coming from the, the batter head. So we're going to put this mic back on the snare drum. I'll play it a little bit, and um, I hope you enjoy it. 